present the day to all of us. God bless you. Today is the eleventh day of our prayer and fast, and we are about at the mid midway point of our prayer and fast. Amen. So I just go on that you're doing well, that your bodies uh, are responding well, and you know you are remaining faithful to what we are trying to achieve. Amen. I want to say that um, what we are trying to achieve is not only at the church level, you know, but what we are trying to achieve something for yourself. Amen. For you. Amen. So it's important for you to also see the benefits of prayer and fast at this time. Not only for the as a corporate fast, but a benefit for you. Amen. So you know, I just want to read a scripture in a zero in a, number, a, a couple of words, you know, and that scripture is taken Philippians chapter four. And just reading from there, I just want to read verse six and seven. Be careful for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God that passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Jesus Christ. You know, this morning, we already spoke about prayer and supplication. And, you know, I spoke to you about, you know, having a good, good heart of gratitude. But the Bible also said, let your request be made known unto God. And the word of God says, you receive not because you ask not. I want to encourage us this morning, you know, at the beginning of this fast, I would have told you to write down, you know, your prayer requests, you know, what you would like to see happen through this fast. I want to say that um, it's important for you to ask the Lord what you want it's important to ask jesus to the lord you know you can be honest with him you know lord i i, I really really would like my own home you know lord i i really really i need my son my daughter saved father this is what i want this this is my heart's desire and i want to say as you do that the bible um, i believe there is there are no errors in god's word and God knew why he said, let your request be made known. Obviously, there are conditions, and we see it in Philippians chapter 4, verse 5. You know, with prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, etc. But let your request be made known unto God. I just want to remind you of that particular thought today. So during the day today, you know, I, I want to say, you know, as much as you can remember, as much as you can go over your listing, I'm asking you, let your request be made known unto God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's God's word. Amen. The truth is, we don't always need a half an hour, hour in God's word. But God is able to give you one verse and even a few words out of that verse. Amen. So God bless you richly. And we have a sister Crystal and I. We wish you the best on this prayer and fast. And, you know, keep remaining faithful to it. And God will take you places you never dreamed of. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.